Hey y'all, out at the uh, Street Rod National South 2012, Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, I got a hot rod here I know in the end y'all are going to like. If you don't like it in the beginning, you should, but if you don't like it in the beginning, by the time it's over, it's going to freak you out. Jack, how are you, brother? Scotty, thanks for never better. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Well, it's a 32 High Boy Roadster, of course, no top, which has been kind of a challenge today. With uh, How have you kept rain. it dry, yeah. Yeah, well, we have a big umbrella we put around. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Is it a steel body car or is it a fiberglass no, it's car? It's a fiberglass car. And uh, I've had people say, where'd you get your kit? Well, it's not a kit, as you you know anything about hot rods. It's right. started from scratch. Right. Pair of frame rails and a body. Right. Um, took about six years to build, and we relocated three times in that in that time period. No kidding. Yeah, so. Well, that's a real pain then, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but it's, it's of course, good therapy. Right. Have you been in hot rod in a long time? Uh, about 10 years. Yeah. Restored E-type Jags before that. Oh, okay. So, uh, Did you build this one yourself? I did. Built the, it from scratch. No with kidding. with the frame rails and the body and um, did everything but the interior. Wow. Who did your interior? A gentleman here by the name of Steve Holcomb in Knoxville. Steve Holcomb's like a brother to me. You will see a bunch of Holcomb's videos on my channel. Yeah, no, me and Steve... Uh, yeah, me and Steve are, are really good friends. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Oh, oh is he not? Yeah, yeah, an artist, and yeah. No, you can't complain about his work. No, you certainly can't. And everybody hears me brag about it, so. Um, well, that's a good-looking hot rod, though. Thank you. Yeah. I actually designed and carved the seats out of foam, and Steve did a great job of upholstering them. Huh. Here's the thing about Holcomb. As he's one of the few people, and I'm meticulous and I'm particular, but he's one of the few people that I wouldn't want to get in his way. I would just say, here, turn it over to him and say, Steve, do what you do, brother. You're absolutely Cause he, right. I mean, he does absolutely beautiful work. Yeah, exactly. Call me when it's done. Steve. Right. And then under the bonnet comes the big surprise. What do you got there? That is a Nissan 300ZX engine. It's out of a 96 Z car. It's actually got the motor, the... The five-speed gearbox and the differential. So it's all the running gear you got. All the running gear out yeah. of that car, yes, sir. And it's not turbocharged, is it? It is not turbo. I actually started with a turbo motor, but there was no way to get the intercoolers and the turbos in there without bulging the hood sides. And right. I just didn't want to ruin well, the lines. Keep it smooth and, and smooth. Yeah, yes, no. And what 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 possessed you? Because it's almost blasphemous to put a Nissan motor in a. American hot rod. It is. You can put a Chevy in a Ford, you can put a Ford in a Chevy, a Hemi, whatever you want to do there. Yeah. But when you go to putting the imports in there, then this is the first one I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Well, Scotty, it's interesting you say that we get a lot of comments. It's polarizing. People either love it or hate it. That's so, right. That, to your point, that's blasphemy or, wow, that's really cool because it's so different. Right. It's not a small block. Right. So what possessed me? Well, I worked for Nissan. I worked for corporate. And I had a motor sitting around, so I thought, well, why don't we just build a car around it? You know, and that's that's stereotypical hot rodding. Now, a lot of times you start with either a body or a motor or whatever, and that's how the whole thing gets started. I ask people, why did you decide to do this? Well, I had it sitting in the backyard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, no, that makes sense. So it was a brand new motor when you put it in there? Uh, low mileage, out, low of, mileage. out of an accident. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, brother, I'll tell you what. I, I hope you didn't didn't take that wrong because it was... Uh, just from the cuff when I said that because that is oh, no, now that is very cool well, I mean very, very cool it is that. unique like you said it doesn't have a small block Chevy sitting in there and that's that's 99.9% .9 of them you know but uh, well to me that's what Rodden is about it's about is, being different about expressing unique yeah 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 it's exactly well and here's the bottom line and I tell people because you know on the internet you get all kinds out there it's very easy to, to slam somebody over something mm -hmm. and the bottom line is, is that hot rodding is about what that man or woman wanted yes. and in the end if that's what they got then I'm not, you know, it may not be my taste, but I'm not going to sit here and tell them that that's that's not cool because, I, you know, no, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not so so uh, locked into myself to think that my opinion's the only one that matters, you know. So that's what the hobby and, the, and motorsports is about. There's something for everybody out there. Exactly right. Well, brother, I'm going to take a circle around it if you don't mind, so we can get a good look at it. But man, it's I sure honest. appreciate you giving me the time to look at that's it. That's my pleasure. Thank All right, you. thanks so much. I'm not try to get run over out here, folks, but I want to get this whole car in here. I mean, now, what a cool hot ride. And when I walked up to it and it had that Nissan motor in it, I was like, you got to be kidding me. And I think it's cool. I was just pulling his leg, but I think it's cool. And now if I don't slip on the grass, that wouldn't be too cool. It'd be funny, though. I know you all like that, but 
It wouldn't be too cool. Yeah, now it, uh, actually it's a cool angle to get the car from. I usually don't get to shoot them from this angle. Man. I'm not going to say there's none other out there because you never say never. But I'll tell you what, there isn't a lot of them out there. And, uh, that's just one cool hot rod. Hope you all have enjoyed it. From the uh, Street Rod National South 2012, Knoxville, Tennessee. See y'all.